Gabriel Deplano with Beretta USA, and today I'd like to show you a little bit about our new uh, ARX 200 platform. It's a 7.62-51 rifle, combat rifle. It is currently a select fire uh, firearm, so only available to law enforcement and military. But it takes uh, it, its roots date back to the ARX 160 that you see behind here, and there are some similarities, but also some notable differences. One of the differences is that this platform will, will become our designated marksman rifle and because of that we had to make the whole system more rigid to be able to then uh, hit our targets at longer distances than would be typically engaged by the 5.56. So our barrel system is not a quick detached system as you as it uh, was on the ARX 160. Of course the barrel can be taken down and apart but it would be required some, uh, some armor level tools. The gun you see here has a 16 inch barrel. We also have shorter barrels available. This particular version that is here is the version that was purchased by the Italian Army. And the kit that you see here, complete with the optics, the suppressor, is what they purchased. So, suppressor is a BNT uh, suppressor, Rotex 2, I believe. Uh, we also have here the, the bipod, the Harris bipod we included. The Steiner ICS system is a very innovative red dot optic with uh, a disturbed reticle. All the soldier has to do is press the, press the tape switch, shoots out a laser to the target, calculates the distance, the uh, inclination of the firearm, and the, based on the ballistics of the round being used, provides a ballistic solution and moves the red dot down uh, on the reticle. So then the soldier just needs to look at, put that red dot on the target and pull, pull the trigger. The uh, ICS, the Steiner ICS is also backed up by a red dot optic that you see here for close range and also in case of everything all the power fails there's also an actual backup iron sights if you take the sight off of course we have traditional iron sights as a as a fourth level of redundancy um, the stock of the rx much like the rx 160 is foldable and telescopic we also have uh, we also use one of the magpul uh, psr stocks as an option that can be adapted you can simply take this stock off and put the uh, magpul on. Magazine also is kind of interesting. We do have removable magazine well inserts. It can either use our proprietary 20 round Beretta magazines, polymer, or in this case, as you see here, we, we put in the uh, adapter to accept the SR25 magazines. In this case, we're featuring one of the, the Knight's Armaments magazines. The gun in the future designated marksman rifle version will will also be, uh, have other changes, potentially heavier barrel, uh, a single um, semi-automatic trigger only, uh, two-stage single, uh, single uh, trigger, and again, maybe a more ergonomic, even a more ergonomic stock uh, for more adjustability. That's it, that's the ARX 200. Hi, Bob Faxon, Faxon Firearms, SHOT Show 2018. Here with Chris from All Arms Solutions. I want to show you the new rifles we introduced at SHOT Show this year. On the top we have the Ultralight FX 5500. It uses a 14 and a half inch pencil barrel with a pin and welded three stage muzzle brake. It uses an adjustable gas block, carbon fiber handguard, low mass bolt carrier, ambidextrous charging handle, safety 45 degree. This rifle comes in just under five pounds. This is a sub five pound AR for the Ultralight. Down here we have the FX 5510. The 5510 is what we consider a three gun solution. It's an 18 inch gunner barrel. It has a removable muzzlock three stage brake. Uses the adjustable gas block, carbon fiber handguard, low mass bolt carrier, same charging handle and safety. One on the bottom is the FX 6500, which is our 6.5 Brendel model, using again the carbon fiber handguard, the removable muzzlock muzzle brake, and the standard upper and lower. So those are the three new rifles that we've introduced this year. They're available in the upper only or the complete rifle. Over here we have the good old standby, the ARAC 21. We've got this one configured in 7.62 by 39. The one on the bottom is considered con configured in the 5.56. Both of these rifles, as you know, have the ambidextrous shell ejection capability. So by turning the bolt 180 degrees in about a minute, this rifle can be configured in either right-hand eject or left-hand eject, as well as the forward charging handle that is ambidextrous can be placed on either side. The other new thing we have for this year 
is we finally came out with our assembled 9mm uppers. We have them in both pistol and rifle length. We do not offer this in a complete rifle, but they are assembled uppers. So that's a complete rifle selection for Facts and Firearms that we're introducing at SHOT 2018. The rest of our new product line we're announcing at SHOT 2018 is our full line of barrels for pistols. We have SIG, Glock, and Smith. 45 different SKUs, threaded, non-threaded, stainless steel barrels that are heat treated, QPQ nitrite coated to give the hardness and the protection inside the board and the chamber. Then we have a preparation on the outside if we put the PVD coating on. So we have multi colors for, for the three different platforms and also we have the flame flute on the outside for, for appearance. So we have all three platforms for the pistol barrels to announce at SHOT Show this year. I'm here with my good friend Bob Faxon. We go way back to uh, his introduction of the ARAC 21, which I thought was one of the most advanced rifles that we have in the industry right now. And his company has grown exponentially. It's been a pleasure to watch that over the last oh God, six years. Uh, see how far he's come. And uh, not only is he doing the ARAC now, pistol barrels, but now we're even getting other components. I also want to say that he also does a lot of new projects as well. And also, he was involved with my, involved with my favorite uh, thing I've seen this year at Chacho, the uh, Brownells AR-10. So, I was, I was really happy to hear the facts that was involved with that as well. So, I want you to know about the Gomer's additional side of the parts. Thanks, Chris. This is some of the other options or components that we offer. And we've announced a few new things at SHOT Show. Obviously, you've seen the rifles and you've seen the pistol barrels, but this is one of our small features that we offer in a rifle barrel. It's a 14 and a half inch pencil barrel. It has a 625 welded three-stage muzzle brake on the front. And that allows the gas block to be removed or assembled so that the operator can put his gun together with the, with the hand guards and the various options for gas blocks without having to mess with the weld. I think that's more appropriate to say a straw barrel than a pencil barrel. It's, it's pretty light, but you know when we build our ultralight, the 14 pin and welded with the pencil profile is the lightest option we have, so that's one of the ways we can get a sub five pound rifle without doing anything to the upper or lower receivers. This is another thing that we're announcing in shot. We've modified our aluminum hand guards. This is going to be released shortly and we'll have it in various lengths. Same as we have with current design. This uses a little bit less weight and this is a little more open for heat and to see the barrels. Along with that, as you know, we sell uppers and lowers. One of the things about the uppers, there's not a lot we can do with the upper to make it different or better. They're all pretty good. But we do identify ours with a removed material out of the shell deflector. It's primarily just so that we can see that it's ours when it's at the range, I want to be able to. But the other thing that we do, we do hold a little tighter tolerance to mill spec in the bore where the barrel interfaces. And because we manufacture our own barrels in-house, our own extensions, and make our own uppers, we can hold the interface of these two much tighter than if we allow the total tolerance of the mill spec for each component. So we hold these to half the tolerance of the mill spec. However, it still fits any mill spec that's out there. We have other bolt carriers, we've got the 308s, we've got the Grandel's, the Creed Wars. We also offer 9mm bolt carriers, 9mm barrels, a wide range of lightweight AR for the 556 as well as the uh, as the standard 556 mil spec Ready. bolt carriers. And our lightweight bolt carriers still utilize the forward assist. Last but not least, one of the favorite things I have, I like to show the muzzlock. I don't know if people understand it yet, but it's an integral jam nut. And what it does, it allows you to not use a crush washer. So all of our muzzle devices, you simply tighten this onto the barrel, and instead of crushing it around, you back it off, use the integral jam nut, tighten it down. So if you're putting suppressors on and off, this is really handy out on the range. Um, it also allows you to clean the crown, which is kind of unusual. But this is one of the things we have on all of our muzzle devices, except for the slim profiles. So there's some of the items that we brought out at SHOT Show 2018 this year. And, um, now you saw a few Brownells? We have various outlets, yes, and we also sell through our website about 1,100 dealers around the country. Okay. Well, we do, we're going to be doing a video, uh, hopefully within the next few weeks, uh, on Faxon's new products. And we'll provide you with uh, locations where to buy this stuff and, uh, and talk about a lot of this new exciting stuff in more, in more detail. And feel free to visit our website, www.faxonfirearms.com. Thank you so much. Thanks, Chris. Here with LWRC International, SHOT Show 2018. I'll take a few minutes to uh, run down some of our latest and greatest, some of our newest stuff for the year. In my hands here, we have the 224 Valkyrie, which is that new ground that's taken over the industry from Federal. Uh, we're excited about this this gun. It's got a 20-inch hammer forged barrel. It is a direct impingement gun. We introduced a 16-inch M-Lock rail for our DI platform this year that's going to be featured on this gun. We've got a four-port ultra brake. 
Yeah. It's got a new trigger in it. It's a single stage, a single stage, four pound trigger. Really excited about this trigger. Uh, it is our own trigger. We're doing our own grip. It's got the snake skin look to it, like you see on the rail, uh, the rail panels that you see on our standard direct impingement guns. Uh, it does have our DI bolt carrier group that I really like. I think this sets us apart from most other direct impingement bolt carriers. We took the fail point out by not having the staked on gas key. So it's all just one piece. It is nickel boron coated. This is on our SIX-8 platform where it uses the 6.8 proprietary PMAGs. So you're not gonna be able to run a standard 5.56 upper on this, but if you already have one of our 6.8 platforms, you will in the future be able to buy a 224 Valkyrie upper to be able to run on that load. Let's see. We also have the, the ICDI target model. This is gonna have a 18 inch barrel chambered, chambered into 223 wild. Uh, it also has a 14 inch M-lock rail, direct impingement. Still all the same great features of our DI guns. This one has a Geisley SSAE, two stage trigger. It does have our new grip. Here we have probably one of the most exciting parts of 2018 for me. This is our Reaper Mark II, which we released last year, but this one is chambered in the 6.5 Creebor. This gun has a 22 inch Proof Research carbon fiber wrapped barrel. The weight on this gun, you know, compared to what our Reaper has traditionally been known as, it's, uh, it's really light, very well balanced, great to shoot. Uh, still all the same great features of our Reaper Mark II. You've got the 20 position gas block, our four port ultra brake, Ambi charge and handle, fully ambidextrous lower receiver, and it will come with the PRS stop. We are going to offer this with a steel barrel, so you save a little bit of money. Uh, it's also going to be a 22 inch barrel. But I, this this proof research barrel really takes the Reaper Mark II to the whole the next level. We're also going to be offering that on our 762. In fact, we have one right over here. So this is our Reaper Mark II. Shaped in 7.62 or 308. And this one has a 20 inch proof research carbon fiber barrel. This gun weighs in at about eight and a half pounds. So compared to our normal, you know, the, the spiral fluted barrel, which still remove, removes a lot of weight out of the barrel, but coming in at a pound and a half, a little bit uh, right around in that ballpark, lighter than our steel barrel, it, it changes the game on the Reaper Mark II. Courtney with Quarter Circle Tiff holding our QC5 at SBR. This is the rear charging version. We also have a side charging version. It takes MP5 mags. Doing it left-handed here. We also have a couple other new things. On our jump block large frame platform, we now have the 10 mil barrel. So we're running, yep, boys, I said at the 10 mil. We're calling it the hog killer in Texas. That's what we do. We also have a brand new SIG 226, accepts the 226 magazines. A couple other things we've got going on. We are in a joint partnership with F1 Firearms, who is jumping into the PCC market. They are known for their unique and killer finishes, plus the skeletonization. So they're going to be going to be in the inside quarter circle ten, outside F1 firearms. And the last thing we're doing is builder kits. Thank you, no problem. Everybody knows <laughs> that PCC is hot and trendy right now, but not everybody knows how to put the pieces together. So we're putting all the pieces together, the main foundation in builders kits, not the packaging we're going to use. This is prototype packaging. But what you get is the receiver set, upper and lower. You can get it in rear charging or side charging. Choose your barrel length, your caliber, and you also get the buffer system. So you get the receivers, bolt, barrel, and buffer. And then you can trick it out with whatever accessories you want. Grips, stocks, brakes, rails. But you know your gun will function properly. What you do with it after that is all you. So that's what we've got going on at Quarter Circle 10. We're here at the DI Optical booth. 
we have here is uh, Mike Beltran, a very good friend of mine, and also a uh, cover person on Soldier of Fortune, who's the Goliath Forces guy against I.E. He's a very legendary in the military community. He's the one that brought me to DIA on the go probably three, four years ago and got me to start testing these products, which turned out to be incredible. So, I just going to take a show you some of the DI optics. You've seen them on my channel before, but you're going to talk to the, uh, the expert here. Let's get this right. All right. Let's start off with our most popular, and that is the Raven 1. The Raven 1 you've seen, and you've seen on uh, Chris's show. So, there's not a lot to say about it uh, other than it's rugged, durable, and efficient what it does, especially for the price tag. Next stage is Raven 2. Raven 2 is the next generation. Uh, uses the push button technique, much like the our some of our competitors. But it's still a tube design, which means the tube design you can make it extremely rugged. Everything's self-contained, protected from the elements. I don't know if you can see how well these are back to the the Falcon. And the Falcon you've seen on his shows a uh, small miniature side, originally designed for submachine guns or compact, but just like anybody else, you can put them on a rifle and be very efficient with it at some relatively extended ranges. Our new sights. This is a Sparrow. The Sparrow, extremely efficient, small compact size. Use the push button for elevating the uh, level of intensity of the running. It comes with our small circle box. And you can change the level of just by pushing the button on the upper right. It has the same interface as some of our competitors, so that means there's already plenty of mounting solutions out there for it. I use all the arms ones. I use arms too. Our newest, and this is the prototype, but I want to state that in front of prototype. This is a DCL 135. This is much like our Eagle One. It's the same thing. It's a prismatic sight, but the prism is grown on it. Made a little bit wider field of view. We addressed issues of battery. It carries a a one two three battery, and the battery life on it is over five thousand hours. So through the roof. We have it in single dot or dot with uh, circle. Circle dot. Check it out. You'll, I think you'll like the wider view. Oh, I do. Like the circle. Very crisp and very clear. If you look, what, one of the things we addressed was the seeing the red from the other side. So if you look at the lens, you will not be able to see that. Yes, it is night. All, all our sites are night vision compatible because it's much easier to manufacture in one set of well, Wonderful, thank you very much. There's very few people in the world that I look up to. Except for this guy here. That's because I'm taller. <laughs> thank you very much for your time. Hey, good morning, Jay Barnes. Here at the 2018 SHOT Show with JP Rifles. We've got a couple models that we're interested in here. The first one is our JP GMR 15 9mm. Uh, comes in a 9mm configuration. Set up to take any Glock 9mm magazine from a Glock 26 uh, all the way up to a 32 round stick. Uh, blowback design, last round lockback, just a hot, our hottest thing going right now, uh, especially in the, the new PCC class. Uh, we can't build these things fast enough. Uh, ironically, I actually sell a lot of these to narcotics units and TAC units that are looking to phase out their MP5. So, just a great, great all around platform, very reliable, very accurate. Uh, Said we can't build these things fast enough. Jumping down here, uh, one of the hottest things uh, and hottest calibers we're going on with right now. Uh, this is just one example of the 224 Valkyrie. Uh, joint project with Federal Ammunition. Uh, basically, 90 grain uh, bullet, 22 caliber bullet that basically replicates a 6.5 Creed more ballistically out to about a thousand yards, uh, but with 25% less felt recoil. Still supersonic out to about 14 to 1500 yards. Very accurate, uh, just a really, really neat round. I think 
a significant impact in ballistics overall in probably the past two decades. Uh, and again, the 224 Valkyrie comes in an 18, 20, and 22 inch medium and, and heavy contour barrel. Uh, or I'm sorry, light and medium contour barrel. Uh, again, that can come in any one of the, the various small platform JP 15s that, that we made. Just two, uh, two really neat products that we're showcasing here at the 2018 SHOT Show. Hi, my name is Mike. I'm here at the DS Arms booth for SHOT Show 2018, and I'm going to go through some of the features that we have on this new FAL rifle. So this is our SPR model, our special purpose rifle. This particular one has just about every option upgraded feature that we offer. So we're going to start towards the, the muzzle end with our new finalized version of our M-Lock handguard. You know, we showed one off last year. We played with the design a little bit more, tweaked it. We de decided that we would go with this. It's very reminiscent of the traditional FAL handguard with the three vent holes up here. And then we've got M-Lock all over it. And then we also have four QD sling, sling pockets located at the very front and at the rear. So moving back from the handguard, we're gonna show off our new cocking handle design. It's got an enhanced profile that captures your finger a little bit better. It does have some additional stippling to avoid any slippage on it when going to engage. A Little bit further back, we've got the one part of our ambidextrous magazine release showing through here. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the rifle and rotate it real quick. And then you can see where the magazine release comes back through on the other side. This is one of our most popular upgrades. We launched that in mid-2017. It's a great product, very simple and affordable. It's $30, takes about five minutes to install. We have the ambidextrous version, and we also have just a standard extended version. Makes it a little bit easier for magazine changes. A great simple upgrade to this rifle. We also have our new winter trigger guard. It's about 25-30% larger than the tr traditional trigger guard. It also has a nice squared off look, which is consistent with the lines on the FAL rifle that give it that classic battle rifle look. So moving back from the trigger guard, we're going to go to our finalized version of our enhanced para stock. So it is the side folding stock. When properly adjusted, you can get to the trigger for the fire well folded capability that the FAL is famous for. Back over. So the stock has lots and lots of different adjustment options. You've got a variety of cheek heights that you can put this the riser at. In addition to that, you can lock it in a cant position if you find that to be more comfortable and are looking for a better weld. It has a number of length of pull adjustments on it. So big heavy duty reinforced butt pad on it, as well as reversible QD sling pockets. So this is our fully modernized FAL SA58 SPR rifle with all of our latest options and upgrades installed onto it. So having a great time showing off some new product. This is the new fully ambidextrous model that's just been introduced here at SHOT Show. It can go left or right handed. It converts into three different gun holster models. Um, cleaner holsters are the most concealable concealed carry holsters on the market. With the clean tab system, it's got a flex tab in the front, rigid kydex in the back, so it pulls it right against your waist, right against your lap right there. You can switch it around. This is for inside the band with these clips here. All you have to do is get the separate clip for inside the band, and then you've got an inside the band holes with just switching the clips out right there. There's over 500 different gun models that are um, represented with the left or the right handed with the V1 and the V2. It's on its way. There's going to be 70 available right now with that one, but currently they're more being tooled up. You can also switch it over to just like the Stingray, and with the two separate angles here there's zero degree if you want an appendix carry or 15 degree can if you want behind the hip so basically with this one you get three different holsters in one that's clinger holsters hey i'm, I'm jake here with lightning systems uh, we got a couple things new for this show uh, coming out of production is our 300 blackout magazine uh, we changed the internal geometry a little bit uh, really helping out with the higher higher weight rounds and especially at higher cycle weights just to make sure we have that 100% reliability that we're known for. Uh, 
Malton has some great marking on the sides, different color floor plate. And then we also have for rifles our new uh, L15 Patrol Lightweight. Uh, it's coming in at six and a half pounds, We're running uh, a Faxon firearms pencil barrel on that.